Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, we've been working on a lot of different things. Um, improved my camera, as you can see. Uh, looks a lot better than the old Sony Handycam I used to use. But this is a, this is a Sony ZV-1. Uh, it does 4K. And yeah, gives me a little bit better detail overall. But on to the video here. The topic of this video is just CNC. Um, CNCing your own carbon fiber parts, to be specific. These are drone frame parts that I designed and I'm going to kind of show you what it takes to do it, you know, and maybe figure out if it's something right for you. Um, I know it's not right for everybody just because overall cost of the machine and the price and the materials and the time and the learning and all that fun stuff. But we're going to get into that today, kind of show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can make this stuff. Um, yeah, and I make it right out of my garage and come back in here and we'll kind of talk about it some more and... I'll kind of give you some more insight as we go along so all right guys so we're basically just going to go through this real fast and kind of show you my workflow on how i uh, open up files and get them kind of ready so i basically take a pre-existing sheet um, that i've already cut and i save it so i know where the cuts were um, and then i basically just copy and pasting the arms because the file is correct um, and then i just try to fit as many pieces as i can on the sheet i know i'm probably not doing the best sort of yield on them but we make it work it's good enough i still get quite a bit of quite a few arms per sheet which is good uh, but yeah you got to pick the right tool um you got to make sure your depths are correct you got to make sure you're cutting the correct holes um i mean this is a process setting up a sheet this took me a long time to kind of figure out how to get it set up properly but all right let's get back and we'll kind of show you guys the process of actually cutting these parts out all right, we're out in the workshop right now. We're gonna start getting our machine ready here. Um, I have some carbon fiber preloaded on these sheets. So let's bring this over to the machine and we'll uh, get her locked into place and we'll get it ready for cutting. Right. Yeah, so I have a fence set up here. Um, this is kind of my zero location. I'll kind of bring my whole sheet into here and then we know we're in the right spot every time we go to cut. We don't have to reset our home point each time. So now, yeah, my X and my Y axis are all set to go. Now we just lock this sheet into place. Grab my little Allen wrench here. All right, so now all we have to do now is initialize the machine and then we're gonna set our Z height for the material itself. You have to change this per sheet because now I got two millimeter thick carbon, three millimeter and five millimeter thick carbon. So each time I bring these over I have to reset zero on my Z height. So now my paper just grabs. So that's gonna be where our zero is. So then we'll program that into the machine. Pretty much ready to cut. So I'm gonna load up that file that we just had. We just did that G code file. Uh, load that up into the computer and then we're just gonna hit go. He's on this one. So as you can see, we hit our tool change set up here. It kind of, it shuts off the, the router and it tells you to switch the bit out. And the bits that I use are these uh, Amazon specials here. These are uh, burr bits. So yeah, so that's the ones we're using. Uh, here's our progress so far on the two mil. That was with a two mil burr bit. Now we're gonna switch to a three mil. Pop my little dust boot on. As you can see, there wasn't a whole lot of dust on, on there either. This does a really good job of pulling up a lot of that carbon dust. Yeah, let's swap out our bit here. Get ready for the next set of cuts. And the next set of cuts will actually pretty much finish out the whole piece. Start. All right, these parts are done. Uh, just got finished up. Uh, let's pull them out. We can kind of take a look. This is kind of the most fun part. I usually just use a flat blade screwdriver. I don't know, this is the one I had laying around. Um, and then I'll just kind of pry up under it. 
and you'll hear that tape release. It takes a bit of effort to get her out, but once it's out, you're done. All right, so the part pulls out nice and clean. Um, the thing we do need to do after this is you kind of need to go over with the file. Um, the edges are ra rather sharp on this carbon. Um, I don't know how China manufacturers do their carbon. A lot of their frame parts, you'll end up having nice, smooth, rounded edges. I have not figured out a way to get those so nice. I'm not sure what they're using to do it. So we'll, we'll probably end up throwing the file on this for a little bit. I just I just do a rough chop on each edge, basically. Let's pull out that other piece. You guys can see what that one looks like. Oh my gosh, yeah. It sticks really good. Looks like I pulled up a little tape with this guy. Yeah. There's that guy. That's my brace plate on the bottom. Uh, this is a pretty good quality carbon that I've found. You need to know if your frame is worth a damn before you even cut it on a carbon. I did a lot of 3D printing to make sure the, that these parts fit together correctly um, before I did anything. And then once I did cut these out in carbon, I ended up finding more mistakes. And it's like, ugh. But yeah, we're going to cut those other parts next. we got to get the next sheet all set up for prep and then... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a time lapse of the next one so you don't have to watch every step. But that's kind of the process of cutting carbon, at least my workflow. It seems to work the best for me. I found the correct bits. I've wasted a lot of money on bits, you guys. This is These are the best for, for the money. These little Amazon special bits. I've talked to uh, China manufacturers. They use the same stuff. You can, you can usually get one of these bits. You could probably cut about half of this sheet. This is a 400 by 500 millimeter sheet. Probably get about half the sheet before it starts to degrade in performance. You'll start seeing more fraying. You'll see uh, a lot more dust as you uh, burr, burr, dull down the bit. All right, but anyways, let's cut the next set of pieces and uh, let's get this frame done. little screwdriver here we'll pop these out and take a look uh oh looks like i missed a couple things here looks like i missed some of my cool little relief holes in this guy sorry the light sucks over here uh <laughs> didn't even notice it as i was uh, mapping this thing out we'll do the other one just so you know what the finished piece looks like <clears throat> all right there she is all done yeah there's that piece we'll get the next one cut and that should pretty much complete the carbon parts for this frame right, we're just about to cut the five millimeter carbon arms i uh, just want to know you'll probably want to put a fresh bit in for these at every given time you have to make multiple passes i do three passes at two millimeters deep uh, per pass and i run about 200 millimeters a second on the feed rate i'm doing 10 arms i think the job time was about an hour so it's it's a lot of cutting time for this one bit so you're definitely going to want to get a fresh one like i said they're cheap they're only like like less than two bucks a piece for a bit so that's what i do for cutting arms um you might experience different results if you have your own cnc machine or whatever but that's what i do All right, five mil parts are done. Pull out an arm and you can take a look at it here. Looks like some of the tape is still on there. There we go. Turned out nice. Yeah, I'll just hit a file on this quick, get it kind of smooth because these edges are pretty dang sharp. And then uh, we'll go inside and finish out the video. Take a look at the rest of the parts, so.
right, guys, the parts are complete. Everything is cut, basically ready to put together. As a, as a solo hobbyist like myself, it's fun to make your own little one-off designs and then cutting custom parts for other people is kind of cool too. You know, but I'm only making 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there. It's not a lot to be made on it, unfortunately. But I do get the satisfaction of actually being able to just hop outside and go cut my own parts within minutes, you know. So I guess that's the biggest advantage I have to being able to cut carbon at my house. Um, I will not say it is totally worth it, but it has been cool. And it's like owning a 3D printer, you know. You have 3D printers, it's so cool to be able to just download a file, throw it in your slicer, and print it. You know, this is the same satisfaction you get out of 3D printing, but now it's even, it, it brings it up to the next level. Being able to cut usable parts at home. It is just really, really cool. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to get the new DJI Air unit coming in. It's the O3 one. Uh, this will directly fit it. But yeah, it'll fit on the standoffs. And it'll just be a TPU mount. Um, but yeah, this thing fits HD0. It fits uh, wax nail. It fits literally anything. This frame does it all. We're calling it the LU5. It's my initials and 5 for 5 inch. I don't know. Maybe I'll start working on some micro designs too, but... Hey, if you guys have any designs you want to send my way, I'm actually totally willing to cut them out. Um, maybe make a video on it too. It might be kind of fun. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions on what we can do with the CNC. And let's see where we can take this. We'll see you next time.